the memoir that came out with Jeanette McCurdy. Mm. I want to ask you all about that. Have you spoken with her since um, the memoir came out? Can you empathize with her? And what is the vibe on set to make sure no one else ever feels that way? Brian had been convicted, but getting all of this support from a lot of people in the industry, and yeah, I was pretty shocked. Watching over the past two nights was very difficult me facing my past behaviors, um, some of which are embarrassing and that I regret. The insanely funny kid celebrity Drake Bell has decided to speak out against the injustices he faced when he was young and innocent. We all remember Drake and Josh, right? The show that lit our childhood with laughter was the very reason Drake was deprived of this. It looks like Jeanette McCurdy has also joined hands with her fellow child star to blow the cover off the sinister agenda of the elitists. Let's delve into this exclusive expose that unveiled the dark underbelly of the Hollywood industry. Okay, so the latest Quiet On Set documentary has unearthed the majorly sidelined memoir of another child star, Jeanette McCurdy. I'm glad my mom died. Her memoir revealed that she had to face the alleged toxic workplace while working with the creator. Many fans believe she was referring to the creator of the series, Dan Schneider, especially since one excerpt refers to the creator as Dan. I'm gonna just do what I need to do and be this, you know, happy-go-lucky Nickelodeon kid. Not only that, McCurdy has recounted a scene when her character Sam had to kiss Nathan Cress's character. In the original series, at the time, the creator yelled at her several times while filming, she alleged. The creator looks me right in the eye but doesn't say anything for four or five seconds. I almost start to laugh, thinking he might be messing with me for fun like he does sometimes. But then I recognize that there is a, a deep anger in him. There is no time for laughter. It gets worse, as Jeanette also hinted that there was some illegal stuff going on involving the children on set. As when she decided to quit acting, Nickelodeon Network surprised her with a gift card to stop her from speaking about her experiences ever again. On top of that, when the word of her memoir in the works got out, Nick allegedly reached out to her to offer her hush money. She said, Nickelodeon is offering me $300,000 in hush money to not talk publicly about my experience on the show. My personal experience of the creator's mistreatment? This is a network with shows made for children. Shouldn't they have some sort of moral compass? Shouldn't they at least try to report some sort of ethical standard? Although this information didn't make it to the mainstream media back in 2022, when Jeanette released her memoir, it gained traction after the explosive documentary Quiet On Set made its debut. The damning docuseries deeply detailed unsettling experiences from the sets of Nickelodeon's most popular shows, like All That, The Amanda Show, iCarly, and Drake and Josh. The docuseries explained that the entertainment industry had done a poor job of protecting children on set, often leading to arrested developments and self-destructed behavior while making the transition from adolescence to childhood. Many of you might not know that Drake was unfortunately a victim of SA and he had been brave enough to file a lawsuit against the criminal. You see, Brian Peck was a former coach of the Drake and Josh show, and he allegedly used his influence to trap young Drake into an endless cycle of SA. You know, anytime I had an audition or anytime I needed work on dialogue or anything, uh, I somehow ended up at Brian's house, and it just got worse and worse and worse and worse, and I was just trapped. I had no way out. It got pretty brutal. The thing is, at the time, Drake was mostly battling his demons on his own, as no one from the industry was there to support him. Only his mother, and despite that, Drake won his case and Brian was put in his rightful place, behind the bars. For those who don't know, Beck was arrested on multiple charges linked to SA involving an unnamed minor in 2003. He was sentenced to 16 months in prison and ordered to register as a S offender after he pleaded no contest to two charges of adult SA the following year. His entire side of the courtroom was full. Full. There were definitely some recognizable faces on that side of the room. Drake revealed that it was disheartening to note that the inner celebrity circles would protect convicted criminals in such a way. It certainly highlighted the moral compass of the entitled individuals at the very least. 
And now that the tables have turned, many people like directors Beth and Rich Correll, whose letters were defending Brian Peck in his court case against Drake Bell, were made public in the recent documentary and are apologizing. In extensive statements, they said, We extend our deepest apologies to Drake Bell and his family, and we deeply regret our decision many years ago to request leniency for someone who we later learned had committed a horrible crime and caused so much pain and trauma to Drake and others. If we had known the truth at the time the letters were written, we never would have written them. Nickelodeon also shared a statement with several media outlets in regards to Bell's allegation against Peck, saying, Now that Drake Bell has disclosed his identity as a plaintiff in the 2004 case, we are dismayed and saddened to learn of the trauma he's endured, and we commend and support the strength required to come forward. It's quite obvious that this non-apology was just a face front of their alleged inner emotion. We are sorry you felt this way. Fans were quick to catch that there wasn't a speck of accountability in their statement. And just like many, it didn't skip Bell's keen eyes as well. Well-tailored response saying, learning about his trauma, because they couldn't say that they didn't know about this or know what had happened or anything the actor went on i find it pretty empty in their response because i mean they still show our shows they still put our shows on and i have to pay for my own therapy i have to figure out what i mean if there was anything if there was any truth behind them actually caring there would be something more than quotes on a page by obviously a legal rep telling them exactly how to tailor a response bell's co-star josh peck also extended his public support to him in his time of need he wrote on his Instagram, I finished the quiet on set documentary and took a few days to process it. I reached out to Drake privately, but want to give my support for the survivors who were brave enough to share their stories of emotional and physical A on Nickelodeon sets with the world. Children should be protected. Reliving this publicly is incredibly difficult, but I hope it can bring healing for the families as well as necessary change in the industry. Fans allege that both the child actors confide in each other about their harrowing experiences on set, although Josh didn't say anything. Many of you might be wondering as to what Drake's parents were doing when he was going through so much trauma. Well, Drake alluded that once you get sucked into a spiral of industry, it's difficult to separate from them. He explained that his father would go to the Nickelodeon execs to complain, but they would disregard it. He said, and they would shoo him away. If that's their idea of an investigation, it's pretty faulty. And I don't think they would discover anything with an investigation like, oh, you don't understand. He's just that way. That's just how he is. I mean, that's not really an investigation. That's the bold faced lie. Apart from Drake, Ali Dimico also followed a suit recounting her own trauma. Ali starred in the musical mockumentary show The Naked Brothers Band, playing the love interest Rosalina. Ali revealed that she was uncomfortable when she had to kiss a much older man for a scene. Moreover, she claimed the production made her feel as though she would lose her role if she didn't do it. They made me kiss this 30 plus year old man when I was like, what, 14, 15? I told them many times that I didn't want to do it. My mom was very against it, and they pretty much made me feel like I was going to lose my job. That I might be fired if I didn't do it. Ali revealed that Drake's documentary was the main reason she decided to talk about her essay out in the open. I'm watching this quiet on set documentary, and it's talking about how integral and vital it is to create, especially when it's a kid's cast. To create an environment where kids feel comfortable to say no or I don't feel comfortable with this. And I'm like, yeah. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Goodbye.